there's definitely a lot here to do on Guam. Half of the island is volcanic and the other half is limestone. We have a lot of rolling hills, waterfalls, beaches. Tuman Bay, that's like the city on Guam. You want to shop, you want to eat, you want to drink, you want to dance, you want to party, you want to swim, snorkel, it's all there. I like to surf, also I love hiking. There's a lot of ancestral sites here. You can come to this place called Hilaan. It's one of the last pristine, undeveloped beaches. There's a place called the Shark's Pit. It's a blue hole within the reef that's really great for snorkeling. This place also features one of Guam's very last jungle ponds. It's called the Lost Pond. It's really great. I strongly suggest you check out Gadao's cave. It's a really easy hike and at the end there's this awesome cave with these thousands of years old cave paintings that were supposedly done by a legendary chief whose name was Gadao. Valley of the Lati is easily one of my favorite attractions. It's this reconstructed ancient village on the bank of a river. They greet you in the native language and they do some chants and they do a blessing for you. They also do traditional canoe making and you get to ride them. Another great outing is Chamorro Village, which is Guam's night market. They got some fire dancing, they got some chanting. You can get some necklaces, much like what I'm wearing here. Naturally, me being Chamorro, I'm going to recommend a Chamorro restaurant, Mescala Chamorro Fusion Bistro. One thing I think you should definitely try is the deep fried parrotfish. Also, Finadeni and Denanti, a sauce to give it a little extra kick. You can get caught up with the history here. Throughout Guam's history, different people came and left bits and pieces of their culture here. Eventually, we adapted it all and it became part of life on Guam. It's definitely a cultural mixture that is very unique and can only be found in one place in the world.